Hey team, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day five of our 10 day core power journey. We are halfway there. And today we're gonna slow down the pace a little bit. We're gonna do full body mobility and side bends. All right team, you don't need any equipment. You mat, your water bottle, let's get ready to rock. All right, so we're gonna start with such a simple warm-up. We're gonna go ahead and start with some knee hugs. So I'm just gonna pull one knee up, give a little bit of a tug, pull the other knee up, give a little bit of a tug. All sitting sides right here. Take your time today, team. So like I said, today's gonna be nice and gentle. We're halfway there. We're gonna take some time to check in with the body today and do some mobility work. So it's not cardio, it's not strength. We're just gonna slow it down. Good team. So my bestie is here. Um, I think, this is my, this is what I think. I think that the dolphins know when I have a house guest. That is my prediction. Perfect, team, go ahead and come to your natural squat stance. We're gonna come to a hip opener to a squat. So it looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and take one leg, hip opener, swing it around, back into that squat stance, squat it down. Take the other leg, hip opener, squat it down. All right, team? Good. Don't worry about getting super low in this squat. Take your time here. Good, everything today you're gonna to wanna to take your time on and just feel it out. Good, and check in with your joints make sure everything is feeling good. Um, so anyways, I took her snorkeling. It was me, my fiance, and my bestie. Um, that's an awesome trio, right? Me, my fiance, my bestie, all the people that I love. Um, and so we went snorkeling, and as soon as we pulled up to this beach, we like, I just put the car in park, and I looked out and I was like, oh my gosh, there was like 40 dolphins, like a whole pod going by. Good team. Beautiful. Perfect. And go ahead and take those feet nice and wide as we come into some windmills. So feet nice and wide. Arms are going to mirror right here in a T formation. I'm going to take opposite hand, reach towards opposite foot. Hello, towel. Reach towards opposite foot, back to center. Take the other hand, opposite foot, back to center. Our team, get a nice stretch in this hamstring. Get a little spinal twist going. Don't worry about touching that toe. Just give it that intention. Good. So anyways, um, there's like 40 dolphins. And there's spinner dolphins. Spinner dolphins are easy to spot because they come out of the water and they literally spin, hence their name. Um, they look like little ballerinas. They come out of the water and they jump in the air and they spin and then go back in. So like, that's like 40 spinner dolphins right here. Good team. Um, so we snorkeled with dolphins and turtles. We ended up seeing a few turtles and I was like, this is like day one. And <laughs> it's like checking off her whole Hawaii bucket list. Good team, go ahead and come back to center right here and take it from the top as we come right back into those alternating knee hugs. Good. She wanted to get donuts and she wanted to, there's a vegan sushi place um, called Tane, um, which honestly, even non-vegan people love this sushi place. It's like, you go online to make reservations, they're almost always booked up. Um, so you have to make reservations a little bit in advance. Um, so anyways, she wanted to go there because she's seen me post it so many times and get donuts and she wanted to see some turtles. I was like, bonus, here's 40 dolphins for you. Good team. And I've had other house guests, and it's like, that's what always happens. We take them snorkeling, and it's like immediately, they see dolphins. I think they know. They know when to put on a show. Good team. Good, let's go with a couple more each side here, wherever you are, even it out. Beautiful. Good, and go ahead and take those feet back into your squat stance. Go ahead and come to that hip opener to a squat. Good, take your time here. Beautiful. Emphasis on that rotation. We are gonna need those hips nice and loose today. Good, good. I like to do like a day focused on mobility. Whenever I feel like I'm kind of getting a little stiff, um, it's better to do it like at least once a week. Realistically, I tend to do it when, I, <laughs> when I'm getting stiff, but it's better to prehab before you rehab if you've ever heard that expression. So check in with those joints and strengthen them and all that fun stuff. Good, so that you can avoid getting stiff in the first place. Beautiful team, good. Go ahead and take those feet nice and wide, arms out in that T formation, right back into those windmills. Good, good. And she's been my best friend since high school. We've known each other a long time. We used to take AP English together our freshman year and then the bond was sealed ever since then, good. She's been my bestie over half my life. Good team. Beautiful. Try and get a little bit lower the second time around. Feeling a little bit warmer, a little bit looser. Good. Which, by the way, she's here right now. She's off camera. Um, 
She is swimming in the ocean that away. <laughs> and while I film. Beautiful team. Good. Well, she's really, and she was on the swim team growing up. So she's really into swimming. Good. Perfect team. Shake it up. Go ahead and walk those feet back together right here and make your way down onto all fours. Go ahead and come onto palms and knees right here as we come into a cat cow stretch and I eat my hair. All right, come into a cat cow stretch right here. Go ahead and drop the belly, look forward. Good. And curve belly button to spine. We'll get out, get a little weird, find any tight spots. Good. Arch. And curve. Arch. And curve. And we'll go with one more each. Big arch. And curve. Beautiful team. Go ahead and come into a neutral spine right here as we come into some hip circles. I'm going to go ahead and shift my way over towards my left knee. I'm going to take my right knee up and around. Good. Drawing big circles right here, opening up that hip. I'm going to draw three big slow circles. Good. And then go ahead and switch directions. Beautiful. Good. And go ahead and bring that right knee down. Same thing opposite side. Bring that left knee up and around. Good. Feeling it out. Good. So we're going to take those joints through full range of motion. Go ahead and switch directions. Good. Perfect team. Go ahead and come back to center right here and go ahead and bring just the right leg out to the side right here. Now from here, I'm going to sit those hips back. Good. And we're just going to go back and forth at your own pace here a few times. Beautiful. Good. I should feel it right in your groin right here in the leg that's out. In my case, that's my right leg. Good. So we're feeling that out. Good. Once you do like five or six rotations, go ahead and bring that right leg back in and go ahead and stick just the left leg out. And same thing on this side. Go ahead and sit those hips back. Beautiful team. Option to do this workout today barefoot, by the way, I'm going to go ahead and keep my shoes on. Um, but when I'm at home, I do like to do mobility barefoot. Good. Giving your, getting feedback from how your feet are feeling is really helpful. It, sh it tells you where you might be shifting your weight into. Good. Whether incidentally or on purpose. Good team. Good. Go ahead and come back to center right here. Bring that foot back in. Curl those toes under and peel the hips up into a down dog. Take a beat here to pedal off the feet. Shake off your fluff. Good. And then when you're ready, go ahead and step just the left foot forward. Find your footing first. Then go ahead and drop that back left knee. Uncurl the back toes. And come on up right here. You're going to pull this right hip underneath you. Pull the left hip crease your back. And I'm going to go ahead and bring out the arms into a T formation. I'm going to go ahead and take the right arm forward and the left arm back and then rotate back to center. All right, team? Good. Big open twist. Back to center. Twist. Center, warming up that spine. Twist and center. And we'll go one more here. Big twist and center. Perfect team, go ahead and bring those hands back down. Curl those back toes back under. Lift the back knee, plant the palms, and step it back. Good. Shake it off, recenter. Same little dance on the opposite side. So go ahead and step just the right foot up this time. Find your footing first and go ahead and drop that back knee. Uncurl the back toes. Come on up. Tuck in that left hip underneath you. Pull the right hip, cre hip crease back this time. Bring those arms out in a T formation and rotate. Left arm goes forward, right arm goes back. And center. Good. Twist. And center. Twist. And center. Good. Twist. Try and twist a little bit further. And center. And one more here. Twist and center. Perfect team. Go ahead and rain those palms back down. Lift the back knee and step that front foot back to, to the back. <laughs> Good team. Go ahead and pedal it off right here. Shake off your fluff. Take a beat here to recenter. And when you're ready, go ahead and walk those hands up towards, or sorry, walk your feet up towards your hands. Meet your breaking point. Roll it up. Get some water if you need it. And we'll come into our workout. All right, team. So coming into the first portion of this workout, go ahead and put your feet into your natural squat stance right here. Slight bend in the knees. I'm going to go ahead and hinge at the hips right here, reaching for the ground. Don't worry about touching it. Maybe we're hovering. Maybe we're coming onto some yoga blocks. All right, team. Just do the best you can. But nice, generous bend to the knees so that you can touch the ground. And then you're just going to go ahead and drop those hips down in space. Pick it up and drop them down. All right, team. When you're ready, we got a full minute on the clock. Let's work. Good. So like I said. Today is nice and slow and gentle as we feel out those joints. Get that hamstring stretch going. Drop those hips down. Good. Don't worry about getting super low down here. Good. I usually like about 90 degrees. Just into a squat is nice. Good. If you want to come all the way down into a deep squat or a froggy pose, um, you are welcome to if that just is feeling good on those hips, good on the body. 
good team. Breathe through it here. Good, yes, mobility days. I always like, um, I like all the glamorous things about fitness. I'm like, I like hit, I like to run, I like sprints, I like to lift heavy weights. Come down and stretch, I was like avoiding this like the plague, but I'm on the other side of 30, and my body is like, girl, what are you doing? <laughs> Good team. So I started really getting into yoga during COVID, and it's just a game changer. Beautiful team. Shake it off. We're gonna go ahead and take the feet nice and wide right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and interlace the fingers behind the back as I come into some wide leg deadlifts. So go ahead and pull the shoulders down and away right here. And I'm just gonna hinge at the hips, pull the booty back, and then stand it back up. All right, team, one minute right here. Let's work. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Good. Get the nice stretch going in the front of those shoulders. Keep those shoulders pulled down and away the whole time. Good. And use your glutes to stand this back up. Beautiful team. Good. So I am more into my book um, that I told you guys about, I think I told you guys about, where it's called Paris is Always a Good Idea. And I am three chapters in now, something like that. And I like it more and more. I wanted to read a book that was gonna take me to a country that I've never been to before. And I was reading that I'm actually gonna get taken to three countries I've never been to before in this one. Um, I think it's like Ireland, Italy, and something else. Um, we haven't gone anywhere yet. We're still in the US, and specifically we're in Boston, where this starts, which I didn't realize that it even started in Boston, and I went to college there, so I was like, oh, Boylston Street, like I know where everything is, so it's super fun. Perfect team, shake it up, go ahead and unleash those fingers right here, and go ahead and come into a warrior two pose. I'm gonna go ahead and pivot on the feet right here. So my left foot is pointing forward. I'm gonna go ahead and press into the outer edge of my back right foot, bend in that front knee, so you're in this nice warrior two pose, bring the arms out in a T formation. I'm gonna switch from here, and then straighten out that front leg, bring that left hand down, triangle pose. All right, team, warrior two to triangle. All right, team, we got 30 seconds staying on the same side, then we'll switch sides. When you're ready, team, let's work. Good. Beautiful team. And again, on this one, don't worry about touching the ground. Just give it that intention. You should feel a stretch in that groin when you come into warrior two pose and stretch in that hamstring when you come into triangle. Good. And the arms are working as they stay up. Hopefully we're not feeling too, too sore. If it is feeling kind of like, oh, you know what? I'm kind of tight in the shoulders after yesterday's upper body workout. Also free to put the hands down right here and just focus on sensation in the legs. All right, team, do the best you can. Beautiful. Shake it off and do the same thing. Opposite side, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring that left foot forward. I'm sorry, the right foot forward. Set the left foot back, pressing into the outer edge of that back left foot. Bend in that front knee as the arms come out in a T formation. 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work. Straighten it out. Good. Good. And gaze stays forward. When you come into warrior two over those front fingertips. I don't know why, but every time I do this warrior two pose, I always imagine myself as like spider woman. And I'll come up and I'll be like, pew! <laughs> so, so I don't know why that gives me like a nice reminder to just turn my gaze forward, but it does. Good team. Good. Good. We've got some high winds today. But it's glorious. It's still nice and warm. Beautiful team. Shake it off. Go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and pivot this way. You can stay where you are in space. I'm gonna take the feet nice and wide right here as I come to a lateral lunge to a twist. So it looks like this. I'm gonna go ahead and bend just the left knee right here. I'm gonna bring that right palm down towards the ground. Open up the left one. Big twist. Back to center. Press just the left, just the right leg. Bring the left palm down. Big twist opposite side. All right, team. If you can't touch the ground, that's perfectly all fine. Just go ahead and come into a twist and give it that, come into that lunge and then go ahead and give it a twist, give it that intention. All right, team, when you're ready, we've got one minute alternating sides right here. Let's work. Good, good. So don't worry about touching the ground. Good. Or if you have sensitive knees, maybe that deep lateral lunge is not really an option. Just do the best you can, team. Good. Like I said, today, we're just checking in with the body. No rush. Good. The wind is pushing me, but <laughs> otherwise, no challenges here. We're just trying to check in. Beautiful. Good. Taking our time. Good, I love workouts like this. Good. So, you guys know I film workouts ahead of when they drop, obviously. Um, so a hurricane is supposed to be coming tonight. I was like, welcome bestie. Now a hurricane's coming and we might lose power, blah, 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 but it'll be fine. Um, I 
you know, reached out to work and stuff and was like, hey, this is what's going on. So I might not be in tomorrow. And if that is the case, um, my bestie and I were like, let's just paint all day. <laughs> Good team, perfect. Shake it off, go ahead and walk those feet back together nice and gently right here. We're gonna come to some pike reach back. So I'm gonna take my feet kind of wide, about as wide as my mat or towel right here, and then come on down into a pike position so those hips are up nice and high. Think down dog, but with a wide stance. Now from here, I'm gonna take my right hand, reach towards the left foot, get a little twist, back to center, through the left hand towards the right foot, get a little twist, and look at gaze goes under the armpit, back to center. If you're afraid of coming into a three-point stance, you can also just come into a down dog and pedal out the feet. All right, team, when you're ready, we got one minute on the clock, let's work. Good. So move nice and slow. Spend a little time upside down today. Good, good for the spine. Beautiful. So yeah, we might be without power in a moment. Um, which, like there's like a 99% chance <laughs> that'll happen today. And it's so interesting because we've been seeing these warnings for a few days now. Um, and we've just had blue skies and it's been beautiful. I was like, really, a hurricane? I didn't even know that Hawaii got hurricanes. Um, so anyways, I cooked up lots of food last night so that in case we can't, you know, cook or microwave or do anything, um, we have muffins and stuff that you can just eat at room temperature. Cook some bread, I have lots of fruit. Good team, which by the way, peaches are in season. That's my favorite fruit. And they are awesome at Costco right now. Good team. Beautiful. Perfect, go ahead and come back to center right here. Come on up, get some water if you need it. And we'll come to the second part of this workout. All right, team, so coming into the second part of this workout, this second part is gonna, have, gonna go ahead and be down on the ground. So go ahead and get down and get comfortable right here. You can make your way onto all fours, onto palms and knees. We're gonna come to an alternating pigeon pose. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring my left knee forward right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and send that right leg back, sit it back as much as I can, come back to center, same thing, opposite side, bring that right foot through, step the left foot back, all right, team? Now I just kind of come up into like a little mini plank position every time I switch. All right, team, when you're ready, we got a full minute switching sides right here. Pop on up, let's work. Beautiful, good. And if you wanna spend a beat in pigeon pose on each side, like maybe you're kind of here and you're like, this feels awesome, you just wanna hang out for a beat, you totally can. Good, team. Good, I like being active, um, even with stretching. I prefer not to static stretch, but Everyone's different. Good team. Beautiful. So do what's best for your body. Good. So yeah, hopefully, um, I think the Big Island and Maui are gonna take the brunt of the hurricane. Um, and hopefully we don't get hit too bad, but we do have flood warnings and basically, not a promise, but like a 99% chance there's going to be a big power outage. Um, which is fine, like I said, good thing my best friend's here. <laughs> and we can just paint pictures. Good team, beautiful. Good, even it out wherever you are. Perfect team. Go ahead and come through center right here. I'm gonna go ahead and come into a seat onto our butts right here. Good, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring the feet out in front of me. Now from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and place the feet just outside of hip width apart right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and drop the knees over to one side. So I'm in this nice 90-90, it's what it's called. 90 degrees, 90 degrees, 90 90 pose. Now from here, if this is like, okay, it was a mission just to get here, feel free to just hang out right here. But what I'd like you to do is lift this back leg, lift it all the way up off the ground, rotate it forward, leg extension, bring it back, set it down. All right, team, 30 seconds staying on the same side, and then we'll switch sides. When you're ready, team, let's work. Lift, bring it around, beautiful. Slow and controlled right here. Good, it's gonna work that outer hip, big squeeze in it, good. Good, and I know it burns, but you're gonna thank me for it later when you have those nice strong hips, good. And we're avoiding low back pain and all that fun jazz. This is what's gonna help out with that, good. Sneak one more in, perfect. Beautiful team, same thing, opposite side. So what you'll do is just pivot through center right here and drop the knees down to the opposite side. When you're ready, team, you got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. And if you're like me, you'll notice some 
differences between one side and the other. This side, my right hip really doesn't like internal rotation, so this is much harder for me to get into the starting position. Good team, this is why you do this unilateral work to work on those imbalances. Good, having to really concentrate. Big lift all the way around. Good. Beautiful team, couple more seconds here. Good. Perfect, go ahead and come back through center right here. We go ahead and make our way down onto our backs and come into some glute bridge. Let's go for it a little bit more. <laughs> glute bridge marches. It's like I'm always trying to measure, will my hair touch the dirt when I lay down? <laughs> Good team, so go ahead and come down nice and flat. What we're gonna do is come to a glute bridge. So hands down by your side right here. I'm gonna lift the hips up as high as I can. Big squeeze in the glutes. Keep it lifted and just march one foot down, other foot down. All right, team? One full minute on the clock, let's work. Good. So we're gonna keep those glutes under tension the entire time. If you feel tired and maybe you wanna drop down from time to time and just kinda of take a breather, you totally can. Good. But otherwise, let's try and keep it lifted. Good. And I am closing my eyes. I am not sleeping, it's just the sun. Here comes the sun. Didn't do do. Good team. But yeah, I got lots of easels and lots of paint. I was like, oh, you can just have a girl's day. <laughs> I baked some chocolate chip cookies. Good team. Those are always good. Uh, it's a recipe I should. It's like when I share recipes on YouTube, I'm like, oh, should they be healthy recipes? Chocolate chip cookies, I could make them healthy, but when I eat a cookie, I don't really, I'm not aiming to be healthy. I do indulge sometimes, and so they're not healthy cookies. Good team. Um, but I am happy to share my unhealthy vegan, <laughs> vegan chocolate chip cookie recipe if it is wanted. Good team. Good, a few more seconds here. Perfect team, go ahead and drop the hips in space right here. And now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and push these, my water jars a little further away. If you don't have water bottles, then relax for a moment. All right, just go that way. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and drop both knees over towards one side right here. So I'm coming into the side lying position. I'm gonna bring my arms out in front of me right here, relax the head. Now I'm gonna take my top arm and I'm gonna draw like a half circle all the way around right here, getting this nice opening in the spine and then rotate it back. Try and keep your fingers on the ground the best you can. All right, team, when you're ready, we've got 30 seconds staying on the same side and then we'll switch sides. When you're ready, team, let's work. Good, drawing a big sunshine. Good, good, and try and keep those knees planted. Good, legs together. And you're just opening up the spine and opening up that shoulder. Beautiful. Good team. Now it's stuck in my head. I feel like that song is most frequently my fluff karaoke of the day. Here comes the sun, didn't do do. Here comes the sun, I said it's all right. Good team, go ahead and come through center right here. Same thing, opposite side. So go ahead and drop the knees over to the other side, side leg position, arms out in front right here, half circles with the right arm this time. 30 seconds on the clock team. Well, let's work. Good, good. I'm learning, um, I'm learning Proud Mary on the guitar right now. Um, shout out to Tina Turner, rest in peace. Um, I'd like to learn Here Comes the Sun, but yeah, I'm currently learning Proud Mary. And the chords are not like that hard, um, but she has like a, a cool strumming technique, um, which for a beginner like me, it's like the perfect song for a beginner. Um, good team. Good, because there's not a lot of chord changes. Build your confidence a little bit. It's, it's doable. Perfect team. Shake it off. Go ahead and roll through center right here. And go ahead and come to some single leg leg raises with a hamstring stretch. So it looks like this. You can go ahead and bring both legs up right here. Wow, I had a lot of dirt on my leg. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and bring both legs up right here. Grab a hold of your right ankle. Give a little bit of a tug. As you send the left leg down, get a little bit of a stretch in this hamstring. Hold it for a beat and then switch sides. All right, team. When you're ready, one minute all chain sides right here. Let's work. Good, good. And this one is more about that hamstring stretch than it is about engaging your abs. Good. So focus on that stretch. Good, get that leg up towards you the best you can. Good. And maybe you'll notice if you're like me, that as you progress here, you're able to get that leg a little bit closer. Oh yeah. Good, that's what we want. Getting nice and loose. Good team, good. 
So I told my best friend, I was like, well, it wouldn't really be a Hawaii experience if you didn't get to see some tropical rain because she lives in California is where both of us are from. And California is usually in a drought. It's not right now, um, at least not in the area that we live in. Um, but she doesn't get to see rain that often. So I was like, well, maybe it's more like a, it's kind of a fun treat. Good team. Storms are cool when you're inside and they don't do a lot of property damage. <laughs> and they're just kind of fun to watch them inside. You can go ahead and grab the backs of those legs right here. Use that to roll on up, get some water if you need it. And we'll come into the core portion of our workout. All right, teams, we're coming into the core portion of this workout. I'm gonna go ahead and come to a half kneeling position. I'm gonna go ahead and come onto my left knee and I'm gonna set the right leg out long right here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring both arms up overhead. Now from here, I'm gonna come to a side bend, hence the name of this workout. So I'm gonna go ahead and hinge at the hips to the side, going towards the left, towards the knee that's down and back up. All right, team, 30 seconds, staying on the same side, then we'll switch sides. When you're ready, team, let's work. Good, and if this is much, too much for you. You're gonna squeeze in this oblique when you come up. If this is much too much, also option to bring the hands down and just reach for the ground if that helps you feel a little more stable. More advanced version, hands up. Beautiful. And I just move nice and slow through these to not lose my balance. Good team. Yeah, the wind is picking up. I think it's Hurricane Calvin. That's what's coming. Good team. Good, nice strong cores. Use those obliques to stabilize and stand it up. Perfect, same thing, opposite side. Go ahead and switch your way over towards the right knee. Send that left leg out long. You can always put a pillow underneath your knee, by the way, or fold over your mat so you have a double set right here. Hands up overhead. We got 30 seconds on the clock, team. Let's work. Good. Makes me feel like, like I'm looking at my shadow and I'm like, I feel like I'm making a little moon shape. Good, team. Good, nice strong cores, good. So go nice and slow, like I said, so that you don't end up going so far and then be like, oh my gosh, and timber. All right, team, use that core, good. But if you do fall over, no shame, no shame in your game, now we know, good. Perfect, team, go ahead and come through center right here and come down onto your booties as we come into a boat hold position. We come into boat hold, single leg extensions as I find a flat spot on the earth. All right, so <laughs> what we're gonna do is lean back so those abs are engaged, lift those feet up, um, and then go ahead and release it. And if this is already enough, you can feel free to hold right here. Otherwise, we're gonna send one leg out back to center, send the other leg out back to center. All right, team, when you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the clock, pop on up, let's work. Good. Beautiful team, breathe through it. I think this is the hardest exercise. Anything in boat hold I think is challenging. Good, so I think this is the hardest exercise of our five exercises of today. So breathe through it, stay with me. Good, remember you can always pause the video and come right back when you feel good. Good team, good, few more seconds. I'm watching my best friend like run into the ocean. <laughs> I'm fully entertained. Perfect team, go ahead and drop. We're gonna go ahead and come into some spider climbers. So I'm gonna flip onto palms and toes right here in a plank position. Now spider climbers, unlike mountain climbers when you're pulling the knee straight through, spider climbers are gonna be out to the side, all right team? Like a little spidey. Think of a spider with his legs on the outside, like dee -dee -dee, or a crab, that's what we're doing. All right team, when you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the clock, hop on up right here, let's work. Good, and if this is much too much, you don't wanna come into a three-point stance, option to just hold a plank or even half plank. All right team, modify however you need, just stay working, good. Good. Breathe through it. And challenging those arms. I know those arms might be sore from yesterday. Stay with me, team. Good. We're all not here for long. Good. Being able to work those muscles when you're tired is really important. Perfect, team. Go ahead and drop right here. Shake it off as we go ahead and flip onto our backs. We're going to come into some dead bugs. I always think that's like such a funny name for an exercise. <laughs> so dead bugs, you're gonna come down nice and flat right here. I'm gonna bring the knees above the hips and the knees are bent at about 90 degrees and both arms come up in Frankenstein mode. I'm gonna send out opposite leg with opposite, opposite arms. I'm gonna go ahead and send the left leg out long, send the right arm back, back to center, then the right arm, right leg goes and the left arm goes back to center. All right, team, when you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the side right here. Let's work. Good, and sometimes, this exercise can seem so simple. Keep that lower back really pressed into the ground. And then you end up doing like, my arm is 
going down instead of out. Like <laughs> a lot of times it's the coordination of this exercise that'll throw people off. So if that's you, don't be embarrassed. Good. We'll get more coordinated with practice. Good. Good, keep that lower back nice and pressed. Engage that pelvic floor. Good, team. Good. Beautiful. Go ahead and drop as we come into some butterfly crunches. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the bottoms of the feet together right here and let the knees fall out wide. Bring the hands up behind the head and I'm just gonna crunch. Little crunch from here. All right, team, when you're ready, we got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's work. Bonus stretch going on right here. Let gravity pull those knees down. Keep the elbows out wide. So elbows and knees should match each other. Like a little mirror. Beautiful. And make sure you're not pulling on the neck. Good team. If it's easier for you, you can also bring the hands down right here and just reach through. Good, I find it easier to bring the hands up, but all bodies are different. Good team. A few more seconds, stay with me. Perfect team, go ahead and bring those knees back together. Grab into the backs of those legs and use it to roll on up. Get some water if you need it, and we'll come into our cool down. All right team, so coming into a cool down, let's go ahead and make our way up to a standing position right here. And from here, I'm gonna go ahead and step into goddess pose. So take the feet nice and wide, toes pointing slightly outwards right here. Slight bend in the knees right here. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my left, my right elbow underneath my left one right here. And I go ahead and keep that slight bend in the knees. And I'm gonna lift the hands up as high as I can, get a nice stretch in the back. If you can't come with the opposite palms right here, it's also okay to just go back to back hands. All right, team, do the best you can. And then lift, 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 lift as high as you can. Keep that nice bend in the knees, good. Beautiful team, taking that heart rate back down. Good. The wind is picking up, so I'm like, I'm glad we're almost done. <laughs> Good team. And when you're ready, go ahead and unravel. Same thing, opposite side. Go ahead and bring the left elbow underneath the right, right here, and palm to palm. Lift, 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 lift as high as you can. Beautiful. Good, stretching out that upper back. Good. Deep breaths here. Good. And when you're ready, go ahead and release right here. We'll straighten up through the legs, point the feet forward, and go ahead and bump both hips over to the right. I'm gonna take that right arm up and overhead, get a nice stretch in the right side body. Good. I love stretches in the side body. I think they feel so awesome. Good. And supposedly it's good for your emotional health. I've heard that when you stretch out through here. It helps you be emotionally a little more stable. Good team. Getting blood flow through there. Good. go ahead and come back to center right here and go ahead and bump those hips over to the left and take the left arm up and overhead. Good, nice stretch in the left side body. Remember to stay open right here, so try not to bring that elbow forward, but stay nice and open, but don't quote me on that. That could just be superstition, but I've heard that, yeah, stretching up the side body is helpful. Good, team. Good, um, my bestie's brother is really into numerology right here, right now. Um, and he said my numbers are 11 and seven. And 11, he said, is like a power number. It's based on your birth date. Good team. Go ahead and come through center right here. And we're gonna go ahead and come to a wide leg forward fold. So just go ahead and hinge at the hips, reach for the ground. Maybe we come up onto some yoga blocks. Maybe we can fingertip the ground. Maybe we can palm the ground. Good, maybe we can walk the hands in alignment with the feet. Meet your appropriate edge. Just hang out right here for a beat. Stretch out those hamstrings. Um, but 11 is supposedly a power number and it's like, I'm supposed to be very influential and apparently um, I'm supposed to be very emotional and he's like emotional doesn't just mean crying it just means like you feel your emotions deeply a thousand percent true I'm a very sensitive person I'm a Pisces to the core and then seven means high IQ which I was like oh thank you I like to believe that <laughs> good team good beautiful and then go ahead and plant that right palm in the center right here take the left arm open it up big twist good deep breaths here and then my fiance is a seven and a five which he said a lot of times people with the same numbers are attracted to each other which makes sense good team go ahead and come through center right here plant that left palm take the right arm open up good if you've ever done the 16 personality type test um my fiance and i also have the same personality we have we are infjs good team if you have no idea what i'm talking about you can look that up 16 personality type test you'll find it good team 
Beautiful. Go ahead and come through center right here. I'm going to go ahead and pivot on the feet. I'm going to switch my way over towards my left foot right here and walk those hands over. So I'm in this nice low lunge to the left right here. And then go ahead and drop the back knee, uncurl the back toes, and straighten out through that front leg, runner's hamstring stretch. Good. Deep breaths here. Keep a nice generous bend in the knee. Don't walk straight. Nice and fluid movements today. Good. And we'll go ahead and roll through that front foot, lift the back knee so we're back in that nice low lunge and walk it back to center right here. Now you guys can go ahead and walk towards the back. I am actually just in hit low lunge on the opposite side. I'm actually gonna switch my feet completely around so that I stay <laughs> facing the front right here. But ta-da, all right, low lunge on this side. Then go ahead and drop that back knee and straighten out through that front leg. Good. Good. I don't like turning my back to the camera. Um, it does funny things to my microphone. And I don't think you guys are getting a lot out of looking at my back either. I'm like, <laughs> prefer it if I'm like talking to you face to face. Good, at least that's the energy I'm going, that's the vibe I'm going for in my videos. Good. Good, pull back on that hamstring. Good team, and then go ahead and roll back up right here and stay where you are. I'm gonna go ahead and match you guys. All right, so we're <laughs> back in the center right here. And then slowly, 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 slowly moves all day. Just roll it up and come to standing. And then we're gonna walk the heels in, walk the toes in, heels and toes and heels and toes and do -si do all the way back to center right here. And we will meet in mountain pose. So feet come together right here and palms face forward. And then on an inhale, we'll take a big breath and as the arms come up overhead, giant namaste, make a big clap, make a round of applause if you deserve it. And go ahead and bring both palms down to the third eye. If you guys enjoyed this workout, please hit the like button and subscribe because I have new workouts every single week. We are halfway through this journey. You guys are doing awesome. We got five more days together. All right, team, the divine in me honors the divine in you. Namaste. I'll see you guys tomorrow.